。肾脏是我们身体里最重要的器官，它们像豆子一样位于我们腰部的后方。肾脏主要的作用是将血液里的脏污过滤掉，以平衡身体里的水分，并负责制造尿液，辅助我们身体的其他功能。The kidneys have several functions. Number one, it is very important for survival in the lives of the individual. It is very important because the kidneys regulate the fluids and the electrolytes. But there are many, many more important functions of the kidneys. It is important in the removal of waste matters. It is important in the removal of toxins, poisons. It is also very important in the Regulation of blood pressure. 肾脏为我们排毒是我们身体里最重要的功能，但是肾脏也可能出现各种各样的问题。Sino ang mga patients sa risk yung mga hypertensive nga, yung mga diabetic, yung mga naninigarilyo, yung mga inom ng inom ng walang patunay na nakagagaling ng mga gamot. So kung may family history ka. na nag-fail yung kidneys. So, kailang ma-identify yun. At kung ikaw ay nabibilang doon, mag-treat na or mag-avoid na wag nang manigarilyo, wag nang uminom ng kung ano-anong herbal medicines, at wag nang bili ng bili over-the-counter ng drugs. No? So, ganun. And kung ikaw ay mataba, Definitely, dapat maglose ng weight. Kasi yung obesity itself, yung obesity leads to hypertension and diabetes, no? And yung hypertension and diabetes, two most common risk factors for kidney disease. 慢性肾脏疾病会因为肾脏功能有所变化而产生。如果您有肾脏疾病，那么肾功能会衰竭。如果功能无法恢复，而两个肾功能已经衰竭，就必须要肾透析。Dalawang klase ang mga pasyente na nangangailangan ng dialysis. Eh. Yung bigla ang pagkasira ng kidneys, pero yung dialysis sa ganitong sitwasyon, very temporary. No? So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng makarecover yung kidneys dito. But the majority of patients, yung mga nangangailangan ng tuloy-tuloy yung dialysis, there are two kinds. Yung isa, yung hemodialysis. Yung hemodialysis, yung dugo papadaanin sa isang makina at habang dumadaan siya dun sa makinang yon nililinis yung dugo. So yung mga waste products na natatanggal if you are diagnosed to have end-stage kidney disease for life na dialysis ito. So the dialysis of course will clean the blood but it will not take care of the other functions of the kidneys. The other option of course and the best option is for patients with end-stage kidney disease to undergo kidney transplant. So, yun ang tinuturing naming best option na renal replacement therapy, ng other form of dialysis, which is called peritoneal dialysis. No? Yung peritoneal dialysis, naglalagay ng fluid doon sa abdominal cavity, so may catheter na nakapasok dito sa abdomen. Tapos, maglalagay ng fluid after a while, ilalabas yun at papalitan na ng bago. No? So, parang tuloy-tuloy yung ginagawa. 若想降低肾脏疾病的几率，我们必须了解喝水和运动的重要性。If you're healthy, pwedeng uminom ng maraming tubig, pero ang sapat na pag-inom ng tubig, pwedeng sapat lang para magkaroon ka ng urine output, so maintain an adequate fluid intake. Exercise, important thing exercise. So as I've mentioned earlier, obesity is an important risk factor for kidney disease. So ngayon, ang World Kidney Day will be on March 9. But it's going to be, for us here in the Philippines, it's going to be a week-long celebration of World Kidney Day. And we will start with uh, many activities at the, um, at the UP Diliman Oval. So, inanyayahan namin po kayong lahat na makiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng World Kidney Day. Ang tema ay... Kidney disease and obesity. At para malabanan ng obesity, kailangan healthy lifestyle tayo, maraming ehersisyo, maraming activities, at healthy diet.